Good, Good morning, morning Bridgewater. Bridgewater. Coming to you from Studio 509. It's time for Bobcat News. Today is Thursday, April 5th, 2018. Welcome to another action-packed edition of Bobcat News. I'm Ella Brinkerhoff. And I'm Caitlin Semyon. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. For today's lunch, the Bridgewater Cafeteria will be featuring Cajun Chicken Twist with Pasta, Dinner Roll, Homemade Cheese or Pepperoni Pizza, Garden Side Salad, California Blend Vegetables, Fresh Tangelos, and Assorted Milks and Juices. For tomorrow's lunch, there will be Sriracha Honey Chicken, Brown Rice, Fried Brown Rice, French Bread Cheese Pizza, Frozen Green Beans, Fresh Green Beans, Pineapple Tidbits, Applesauce, and Assorted Milk. FSA testing is right around the corner. To help, <laughs> to help those who think, who think they still need help, there will be a session of math tutoring this Saturday. Tutoring begins at 9 a.m. and ends at 11.30 a.m. Attention all 8th graders. Are you thinking about joining the Windermere High School Color Guard this fall? If so, come out to their Color Guard camp. No experience is necessary. It will be held at Windermere High School from <laughs> April 23rd to 26th from 2.30 to 4.30 each day. Please wear athletic attire. Contact Windermere's band director at Robert Durag at ocps.net. Life's a struggle when you're a muggle, so join the Harry Potter book club to play games, eat snacks, <laughs> and more. Our next meeting will be April 11th at 4.05 p.m. Just check in with the YMCA. After that, we'll meet on Mondays right after school. Plus, you can, get, you can earn 14 AR points by participating and taking the quiz. Do you like chess? Do you like Thursdays? Come out for chess club on Thursday mornings in the cafeteria. Protect the king and join <laughs> chess club. Meetings will be held on Thursdays at 8.20. This week is Autism Awareness Week. This week, Bridgewater will be recognizing autism awareness by doing something different each day. Today is Have Fun and Be You by wearing fun socks. And tomorrow is It's Okay to Be Different and Wear Your Shirt Inside Out or Backwards. Have you heard? The yearbook is finished. The last day to order your books is April 22nd. This is not a joke. Last year we sold out, so make sure you secure yours today. Go to jossensyearbook.com to order. Good news, kids. The meats have returned, stocked and ready to sell. Mr. Inches once again has the meats for only $1. After we've sold out, there will be no more. So buy them all you can before they are gone. Now let's check in with our crazy book ladies, Ms. Williamson and Ms. Foyster. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is uh, another episode of the Crazy Book Ladies. I'm Miss Foister. I'm Mrs. Williamson. And we have a special guest with yes. us today. Yes. A science teacher. Yes, we I love, love it. That. Love it, love it. Okay. So, a couple of months ago, actually, yep. I think it was like was before a, Christmas. He probably. Winter break. Yeah. So, Mr. Salazar came to me and said that he wanted to be on our show. <laughs> um, that he had a book that he wanted to feature with the kids because he thought that they would really like it. And um, you knew at the time, right, that it was coming out as a movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was announced. Movie. So, um, Ready Player One came out this weekend as a movie, and you've been to see it as well as read the book. So, and it's been in the library since it was pub pretty close okay. to when it was Good. published. So it's been it's been in our library. And, and it's been out. You said two thousand. I think two thousand eleven is. It's I think been okay. a few years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So why Lay why on, are okay. kids gonna love this? All right. So the reason why it's one of my favorite books, um, mainly because it has a lot of references to video games, to old classic eighty stuff like Back oh, to okay. the Future, Voltron as a, a cartoon, He Man, and things like that. And essentially, what happens is that there's this world that's going crazy. You know, everyone's having a rough time. But there's this game that was created. And people basically live their lives throughout this game. Oh, you know, okay, they, okay. they escape reality. And whatever they can do in real life, they can do in this game. 
And oh. but what's even better is that they can create any character they want. They can have any vehicle they want. You know, they, if they want a DeLorean or an X-wing or something like that, they can they have. They want to win the lottery. They win the oh, lottery. Of course, oh, you know. Okay. I mean, oh, well, okay. money money is weird, like how it, okay. it's invested. But um, but essentially, it's gotten to a point where people are escaping reality completely, and so they oh. get very obsessed oh. with this game, okay. and this is basically their life. Now, what ends up happening, now, I don't know how much spoiler, spoiler, I don't yeah. know. Okay, yeah. no spoilers. I mean, basically, there is an Easter egg hunt. So in oh, okay. video games, we have what's called um, Easter eggs, where there's like a little thing that references to something else or like a, like a, a prize or something like that. So uh, basically, the creator puts this Easter egg hunt into the entire game, and whoever finds like the last you know egg or the last key, essentially, in the book, uh, wins his entire inheritance and the ownership of the game itself. Uh, so the movie okay. does an incredible job adapting it, and it actually, you know, puts it up to modern oh. day. So the kids would definitely love it for sure. Great! Oh, I could so, talk about this for a long time because I heard I a great know. interview yeah. with the author and uh, the, about eggs that they've hidden in there, Steven Spielberg, <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. Oh, but, cool! Um, so, well, so, okay, but the anyway, big question he, we're, we're is: getting the high um, sign. Uh, is there going to be a sequel? Yes, actually, he's oh, already started. Oh. Well, he as of December, he was asked if he's writing a sequel, and he's been working on a sequel already to the book. Cool. Um, he's okay. already got another book in place called Armada. It has nothing to do with this. It's a different story altogether, but still video game references. But there is a sequel coming out for this book. Okay. okay. Well, and yay is, to science yes. teachers who read. Yay! Yes. Yes. Yeah, we love that. And we this book that. is in our library in the media center. And real quick, we want to talk next week on Wednesday is um, Battle of the Books. Um, so so we're taking a and, team. Yep, yep. So we'll let you know about that. And keep an eye out for summer reading flyers. Um, I'm sure we've gone way over and your teachers are not happy, but we're the Crazy Book Ladies. Mm. And thank you, Mr. Salazar. <laughs> yes. And we'll thank be back you. next week. Hey, sports fans. I'm Drive Your Car. Track season has officially kicked off. Last night, your Bobcat track teams took on Carver and Chan Lakes in a try meet at Windermere High School. The girls killed it, coming in first by 33 points, of course taking home that dub. And the boys came in second, losing to Chan Lakes by just three points, but won against Carver. Congrats to both teams. Now it's time to check in with Jacob Tulinson for your original forecast. What's up, JT? Thank you, Jarvia. Today's weather is going to be a high of 82 with a low of 63. Today's joke of the day is, she was poetry, but he couldn't read. His name was Jared, and he was 19. Now here's a look at your five-day weather forecast. This beautiful weather can't last forever. As we head into the weekend, we'll probably be met with some rain. Now back to the desk. Thank you, JT. Thank, Thank you for joining us for Bobcat News. You can use. And as always, have a great day. Oh,